In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We celebrate today on the Saturday of the fifth week of the year, um, the Mass in honour of our Blessed Lady, the Saturday uh, Mass in honour of our Blessed Lady. And we hear in the first reading about the dreadful fall of the human race. Uh, they decided that they will go it alone, in God's world, of course, and the result was disaster, breakup, and um, everything became difficult. And we remember, however, that Our Lady, by saying yes to God, I submit to God's will, at the Annunciation, started the reversal of that defiance which has caused so much misery in the human race. We call to mind our sins and we pray that we will, with Mary, uh, try and follow the will of the Lord in our life more and more completely and more and more trustingly so that we can find not only deep contentment ourselves but, as it were, continue the work of, as it were, rebuilding the world as one family. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You're the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You're the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. I say this Mass for you, the people of the parishes, and I include any guests who are looking at this broadcast and joining in with our prayer on Saturday morning. O oh God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Saviour, <clears throat> grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord called the man, to the man. Where are you? he asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? he asked. Have you been eating of the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied, it was the woman you put with me. She gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then the Lord asked the woman, what is it you have done? The woman replied, The serpent tempted me, and I ate. Then the Lord said to the serpent, Because you have done this, be accursed beyond all cattle, all wild beasts. You shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman, your offspring and her offspring. It will crush your head, and you will strike its heel. To the woman he said, I will multiply your pains in childbearing. You shall give birth to your children in pain. Your yearning shall be for your husband, yet he will lord it over you. To the man he said, because you listened to the voice of your wife and ate from the tree of which I, for I have forbidden you to eat, a curse be the soil because of you. With the suffering you shall get your food from it every day of your life. It shall yield you brambles and thistles, and you shall eat wild plants. With the sweat of, on your brow, you shall eat your bread until you return to the soil. As you were taken from it, for dust you are, and unto dust you shall return. The man named his wife Eve, because she was mother of all those who live. 
The Lord God made clothes out of skins for the man and his wife, and they put them on. Then the Lord God said, See, the, the man has become like one of us, with his knowledge of good and evil. He must not be allowed to stretch his hand out and next and pick up from the tree of life also and eat some and live forever. So the Lord God expelled him from the garden of Eden to till the soil from which he had been taken. He banished the man and in front of the garden of Eden he posted cherubs and the flame of a flashing sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The Word of the Lord O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You turn men back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. Lord, O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. <clears throat> ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. <clears throat> A great crowd had gathered, and they had nothing to eat. So Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I feel sorry for those people. They have been with me for three days now and have nothing to eat. If I send them off home hungry, they will collapse on the way. Some have come a great distance. His disciples replied, Where could anyone get bread to feed these people in a deserted place like this? He asked them, How many loaves have you? Seven, they said. Then he instructed the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks, he broke them and handed them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them among the crowd. They had a few small fish as well, and over these he said a blessing and ordered them to be distributed also. <clears throat> they ate as much as they wanted, and they collected seven basketfuls of scraps left over. Now, there had been about 4,000 people. He sent them away and immediately, getting into the boat with his disciples, went to the region of Dalmanutha. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Our Lord uh, feeds uh, the hungry in the wilderness. He is, <clears throat> in a sense, repeating what the Lord did when the Jewish people uh, were released from slavery and started heading towards the promised land. And he gave them manna in the desert, didn't he? Uh, which sustained them 
together with what they could gather from the sparse land. And um, our Lord is saying many things. Obviously, he's saying the great thing that who is he? The man who can work miracles, seven loaves to feed 4,000 people. But he's also saying that he is the new Moses, the, the new person who is going to take people out of their slavery into the future, a promised land. And he's saying that to us today because what has happened is, since the time of Adam and Eve, as we've heard, human beings have tried to live without God and this has rebounded and difficulties, disasters broke, fall upon us and break the, the harmony planned by God. So um, we are being led out of a world that is disharmonized into harmony with God if we would let that Spirit of God come into us if we will be fed by the Word of God speaking to us and when we can of course the sacraments sustaining us with the Spirit of Jesus so we pray that perhaps as we mentally prepare for Lent it's Ash Wednesday next Wednesday we um, open our hearts to God anew and say, look, uh, how easily is our world disrupted by an invisible bug? The sureness is with you, Lord. You give peace and reassurance. We pray that we will resolve to come back to God with all our hearts as the centre of our life this Lent. Lord, hear us. <clears throat> we pray for all those given to our care. We pray <clears throat> for those who have died, that they may have the fullness of life. They may come to the promised land. And for all our other cares that you offer up in this Mass for you, the people, Holy Spirit of God, you hear, you hear what's on our hearts. Grant all that is good, you who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine we have come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God, Lord Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <coughs> Receive, O Lord, the offering of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate 
your Son's work of boundless charity may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbour, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked upon the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence for ever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mere history of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his de death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen.
at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to us who receive. Jesus Christ. May the receiving of your body and blood not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body to hear your word. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to say the prayer of St. Alphonsus for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat>
Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathway of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. I just remind you that Lent begins this coming Wednesday, which is Ash Wednesday. Repent and believe the good news. It's uh, a day of fasting and abstinence for uh, those for whom it is relevant. Uh, but we should all, whoever we are, make some effort to uh, uh, make the day, as it were, a penitential day a day of thoughtfulness uh, as we begin Lent. Um, what will happen is that small cards will be signed with the ashes and put in a plastic sachet and left for collection from the boxes outside our churches. Uh, this card with the ashes on can be kept by your sign during Lent as a sign that you wish to repent and believe the good news. Turn, turn round from anything negative and live a life that God wants positive. So try and make Ash Wednesday special. You'll also see, by the way, that um, we are, for those who are um, able to um, uh, receive the broadcasts, uh, we're doing Stations of the Cross online uh, to be uh, published or broadcasted each week at three o'clock on Friday afternoon. But it will be there uh, and saved on our YouTube and Facebook channel. And it's a lovely extra devotion to focus on in Lent. Our Lord's wear the cross, how much our Lord Jesus suffered for us so that we can have life in the future and therefore how much God must love us. Do look at the newsletter. I realise it's a matter of skimming through the headings that are relevant but um, we, we just, things do change with variations in lockdowns and proposed government announcements and you name it. So uh, do bear that in mind. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.